Hey there, this is the One Boom, and before I go into a commentary, what I like to do is read all the bullet points I wrote down so I don't lose track of what I'm saying. Um, too many game modes is a bad idea. Elaborate. I, I can do that. So it's been leaked that Modern Warfare 2 is going to have a lot of interesting experiences at the end of this year. Rumors of a Rainbow Six Siege style attack and defend the building mode, having a Tarkov style sort of extraction royale mode. You know, it's exciting stuff, right? I'm supposed to be excited, but I'm kind of not. I don't like this idea. I've also heard that Gunfight and Ground War are going to be coming back and I have to admit, I'm just not feeling it. One of the things I like about Vanguard, and that I even still like during its terrible state right now, is that it is a focused experience. Other than the weird Champion Hill game mode, it is traditional multiplayer done right. By done right, I don't mean perfectly balanced, not buggy at all, super fun to play all the time. What I mean is, is it's focused. It's focused in the sense that the developers are not working on a bunch of counter experiences where it's like, this is more of a siege style thing or a Tarkov style thing or a battlefield style thing or a battle royale style thing or a 2v2 sort of, you know what I mean. The less a Call of Duty has to focus on, the better whatever it does focus on becomes. And I think that's really, really obvious if you look back at the last several years of Call of Duty when we just have a campaign multiplayer and a singular side mode. I feel like more love is able to be poured into those modes, and while things have obviously gotten complicated recently for numbers of reasons in the gaming industry, I still think that that mentality could hold true for Infinity Ward as long as they don't have to spread themselves too thin across a ton of different projects. I've had some arguments with people about this, and I'm just gonna put it this way. It's easier to create three experiences on one disc than five or six. This is why the combat pacing idea in Vanguard is so brilliant. It allows you to adjust your pacing without having to create entirely new game modes like the war mode or fireteam dirty bomb or ground war or gunfight. Like realism in Modern Warfare 2019 is awesome. It plays entirely differently while still using all of the same mechanics and maps and weapons and customization. And all it had to do was remove your HUD, remove kill indicators, hit markers, and then make headshots a one-shot kill. Modified stuff like realism, hardcore, core, combat pacing, that's great because you can use the singular template for many different experiences versus having to create entirely new maps or section off parts of a battle royale map in order to fit an entirely new mode that splits up the player base into an entirely different experience. I feel like Call of Duty needs to stop panicking every year and cramming in a bunch of crap just to make sure that everybody's happy. Like, let COD players be COD players. Let Battlefield players be Battlefield players. Oh, I am so sorry to Battlefield players, my bad. But you don't have to incorporate a ton of different weird ideas to make sure you get the widest audience possible. Now, obviously, if I'm a company, I want a wider audience compared to a happier fan base. Because, obviously, the fan base is probably gonna at least dip their toes into every new entry whereas you're not gonna guarantee new people unless you do something new. So I know I'm sort of arguing against the grain. I'm almost arguing against progress or innovation, right? I'm arguing against variety, which is something I never do on this channel. But it comes down to dev time. Let's talk about dev time here, because this is the reason I don't want a battle royale in Halo Infinite, not because it's not traditional Halo. That's it for me personally, but the reason I really don't want it is that resources are resources. Time and money, people, manpower, it's all gonna have to be factored in to the equation. If Activision splits off a whole other team to work on a battle royale, they're still spreading manpower and money to those projects. Changing the name of the team doesn't change how much money it costs to do things. I'm sure there's some nuance in there because I don't know anything about game development, but I at least know that whoever pays the bills pays everybody's bills. Making parts of the same studio or different studios work on entirely different aspects of the game is still eating into resources and manpower. And I feel like a more focused experience, while it might alienate some people or disinterest some people, the people that want it will get a much better product. I think the reason Vanguard swept me off my feet despite how mediocre it is in some ways is that it delivered what I want as a Call of Duty multiplayer fan. 
tons of weapons, tons of customization, and tons of maps, lots of variety between the maps, and a new solid gimmick that was destruction. As a stupid Activision shill Call of Duty fanboy, that's all I need from the series. Now, I understand that's not your needs, but make your own channel. For me personally, I would sleep better knowing that Infinity Ward is working on perfecting multiplayer and not worried about how multiplayer fits into a list of modes like Extraction Royale or a Siege style mode or Gunfight or Ground War, you get it. It's just about being spread too thin. Also, one more thing. Call of Duty's mechanics don't work perfectly in everything. Like, Ground War on concept is super fun, but super large maps with 64 players on them? It doesn't really work with Call of Duty's gunplay. Like, balancing-wise, Ground War was a nightmare. Time to kill-wise, Gunfight is a joke. I've enjoyed both Ground War and Gunfight, but I just don't think Call of Duty's Time to Kill and Gunplay work in every single instance. So just because a Tarkov mode sounds fun, you have to ask how much work do they have to do to the Call of Duty formula to make a mode like that truly interesting and not just, hey look, it's the Call of Duty mechanics, but you need to extract with items and you have one life. Like, yeah, that that's not inherently compelling. What's compelling about Tarkov isn't really the objective as much as it is all of the mechanics and all of the design that goes into making those mechanics work. You can't just take Twitch shooter mechanics and make a Ground War 64 player wide scale combat mode. You can't just take Twitch shooter mechanics and make an Extraction Royale that's serious and convincing and, and unique. It's better to whole ass what you're good at than half ass things that maybe your franchise doesn't have any business tapping into. Here's a thought experiment. Go watch somebody play Warzone and realize that the weapons they're using are designed around 6v6 traditional Twitch arena multiplayer. They're designed around that tried and true Call of Duty formula. Then ask yourself if Warzone would be better if it wasn't still following the Call of Duty template of super low recoil, easily manageable weapons. You could also ask yourself that about Black Ops Cold War. Black Ops Cold War had 150 health and almost zero flinch, which was a pretty big change compared to the normal Call of Duty formula. But how did that affect weapons like three round burst rifles and traditional sniper rifles and LMGs and shotguns? Well, they were left to more or less act like their normal Call of Duty counterparts, but in a completely different environment. So the meta shifted in a very awkward way around those weapons. A formula's reach, in my opinion, is limited inherently by the fact that it should be focused on being its best self, not being as many things as it can possibly be to please as many people as it possibly can. Ground War, Gunfight, Warzone, and potentially an Extraction Royale or Siege style mode could work very well in Call of Duty. But I don't think Call of Duty works very well when it's trying to be every single other game. I will be covering this topic in more detail down the line. I just wanted to get this thought out here and see what you guys think about my thought. So tell me what you think about my thoughts. Again, I, I didn't really have a script for this. I just had like a simple idea and I wanted to get it out. But I will be covering this more in depth in a video called Everything Modern Warfare 2019 Got Wrong. I'm going to be going over all of the mistakes that I think Infinity Ward made with MW 2019, and we're going to see if maybe they can rectify those in Modern Warfare 22. See you when I see you guys. Goodbye.